I'm going to introduce you here to a, a way of training called plyometric training, otherwise known as plyos. That's the, the word around the gym. Yeah, so what these are are a series of exercises that are designed to achieve explosive power. So they're often jumping, hopping, skipping, bounding, those sort of things. So they're very, they're pretty hard on your nervous system and your body. So you don't usually want to start these, in fact, never, unless you have a solid strength foundation behind you. But once you do, it's not only athletes that do this type of thing. I have 80 year old clients that do this type of training in some form. Because I always tell people, that as we age, the first thing that goes is our power. Mm -hmm. So it's important to keep that kind of power in, in, our, in our training. I mean, how many times have you heard of you know, a company baseball game and half of them pull their hamstring running to first base? So what this will do is help you be able to do ex more explosive sports as you get older in age. And, not, and for athletes to gain that, take that strength and change it to some, some great power on the field. Okay, Chris, so we're gonna go through about uh, maybe five of these exercises, some upper body, some lower body. And again, you wanna keep these, it's not an endurance exercise, so you wanna do these quick and fast and stop when your speed stops. As soon as you feel like you can't explode anymore, you know, you can use these in endurance circuits, but generally they're used for, for explosiveness. So you get a little rest in between them, even two to three minutes between exercises. Because you wanna be fully recovered when you do these. Chris is a great one to show this because he's one of the best people with plyometrics I've ever seen. So he's going to show the first exercise is the box jump. So Chris is going to stand near the box. He's going to spring straight up to the box land, and try to land as quiet as you can on the box. It's not much quieter than that. It's like a cat. So jump up. Good. Perfect. Good. Advanced level of this, do it on one leg. So jump, perfect, go one more, good, okay, the second jump we're going to do, I call the split middle split, so you kind of get, you kill two birds with one stone, you get a squat pattern and a lunge pattern in the same exercise, so Chris go ahead and show that, so start with the feet kind of wide, just do a squat, go to the middle, do a split, go back to the middle, squat, middle, split. You can see his hips are back on the squat, legs, boom, okay, stop. I want to say one thing, at the bottom, you want to get the least amount of delay as possible. So as soon as you absorb the ground, you want to jump up as quick as you can. What that does is it gets that stretch reflex in your muscle to get going, and that's what's going to give you the power. So go ahead and, and show that. You almost want to pretend like the floor is like, like hot coal, so you barely touch down. Just the least amount of time on the ground as possible is best. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to do a lateral jump. Chris can jump over things much higher than this, but most people should probably start with this for safety. So he's going to go on two feet and just jump over the side back and forth, kind of like skiing on a mogul. Good. Again, nice. Absorb the ground, but then spring up as fast as you can. Feet on the ground. Perfect. Perfect. So the progression of this, again, is just getting higher and higher benches. You know, you don't need to go too high, but you want to go high enough where you have to bring your knees up a little bit. Okay? All right. Now we're going to go to squat jumps. This is just like doing a, a squat, except you're, actually, you're jumping in the air. So same rules apply. Chest up, hips back, load the glutes, not the knees. So go down and pop right up. Good. This is a great exercise to start with because it's, it's, it's very easy. Now absorb and pop. Good. A lot of people like to do it separately, so they go and they stop at the top and then absorb. So go ahead and do a show that. So come up, they stop, and then they go down. You don't want that. You want to get that absorption and then the pop right up, which is going to work that stretch reflex in the muscle. Perfect. Those are some lower body ones. Now we're going to go to a few upper body ones. I'm going to use a med ball for these. You know, with, you don't need a partner for these always, but I'm going to show it with Chris just because I have them here. But you can do this against the wall if needed. So the first one we're going to do is a chest press. So we're going to face each other, hips are back, load the glutes, and you're going to keep the, the core tight, and you're just going to throw the ball back and forth. Again, you want to get rid, absorb and then get rid of it quick. So you do that again until you feel your power, probably about 10 reps each. Good. Okay, then Chris is going to show the ball slam. Again, this is a good lat exercise. It's going to bring you power in your lats. Perfect. 
Okay, now we're gonna work the lateral, the obliques a little bit in our, in our lateral pattern. So we're gonna stand this far apart, go ahead and throw the ball. Just throw it back and forth. So we get a little bit of a rotation in there for a lot of sports like golf, tennis, and the such. Okay, switch sides. Good. There you have it, plyometrics. They're a great way to gain power in any sport you play.